Game 9. White. El Carranza. Black. J.R. Capablanca. Exhibition Game. Buenos Aires, 1911. Three Nights Game. It is common delusion that the way to draw against a great player is to exchange as many pieces as possible. It just does not work, especially against Capablanca, who always seems to emerge with a slight advantage after every exchange. The old adage still holds true, if you want to get a draw, play to win. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Knight C3, D6. Rather quiet. The energetic, Bishop B4 is usually preferred. Still more stubborn is the fianchetto of the king bishop to bear down on the center. Thus, g6, d4, e takes d4, knight d5, bishop g7, bishop g5, Knight C to E7. Not Knight G E7. Knight takes D4. Bishop takes D4. Queen takes D4. Knight takes D4. Knight f6 check, king f8, bishop h6, mate, knight c e7, knight takes d4, C6, Knight C3, H6, Bishop F4, D5, and Black has a fine free game. Back to the game. Capablanca played d6 Bishop b5 Knight g e7 d4 f6 Dr. Tarish would have shuddered at this ugly move but it does maintain the strong point at e5 D takes E5, but this eases the pressure and provides Black, after castling, with an open file for his rook. F takes E5, Bishop G5, Bishop G4, Queen D3, A6, Bishop A4, h6 bishop takes e7 bishop takes e7 knight d5 castle bishop takes c6 this move and his next release whatever pressure white has held on the position a spirited alternative 
is offered by Capablanca in La Prensa as follows. Queen B3. King H7. Queen takes B7. Bishop takes F3. Bishop takes C6. Rook B8. Queen takes C7. Queen takes C7. Knight takes C7. Bishop takes G2. Rook G1. Bishop H3. Rook G3. Bishop C8. And he considers black to have enough compensation for the sacrifice pawn. Back to the game. Bishop takes c6 was played. Capablanca played. B takes c6. Knight takes e7 check. Queen takes e7. Knight d2. Bishop e6. The beginning of centralization and the establishment of a pawn roller. Castle. It is of such mechanical development that Botvinnik, commenting on his game against Sokolsky, said, It is gradually becoming apparent that White, Sokolsky, has no plan whatever and is occupied only with development of his pieces. Perhaps this was sufficient 50 years ago, but in our day, when at the 6th to 8th move, every master formulates his plan for the middle game, there is no better way of getting a cramped and passive position than by aiming only at development. More to the point than the text was the move C4 to make blacks fight for occupation of the center. Back to the game, castle. D5, F3, Queen C5 check, King H1, A5, intending a4 next to keep the knight out of the square b3. Knight b3. Queen b6. Queen c3. d4. Forced as the king pawn was attacked and forcing as the queen must exchange or retreat. Queen c5. White is happy to exchange queens as a means of obtaining a draw. Bishop takes b3. Queen takes b6. C takes B6, A takes B3, C5, King G1. The position would now be called a draw by most players, but Black has an infinitesimal advantage, and that's all that Capablanca needs. The end game that follows is one of the most delightful ever played by Capablanca, with enough pawn play to gladden the heart of a Philidor. Black has a positional advantage in that his pawns have great potential to expand. His queen pawn may be with care 
convert it to a pass pawn, and there is some prospect of gaining control of the queen rook file. This may seem nebulous, but watch the meticulous manipulations of Capablanca's fine Cuban hand. Capablanca played king f7. White poses no danger in f4. As after e takes f4, rook takes f4 check, king e6, rook a f1, rook takes f4, rook takes f4, a4 wins. Back to the game. White played King F2. King E6. King E2. B5. King D2. G5. H3. H5. This prepares for a possible breakthrough by G5, G4. G4 squashes that little idea, but Capablanca has other resources. H4. King E2. Rook F7. Rook F2. Rook F7. A7. King D3. A4. Threatens. A takes B3. For example, Rook takes a7, Rook takes a7, C takes b3, Rook a1, Rook a2 to save the Rook pawn. Rook b1, king c2, any other king move loses the rook, and any rook move loses the rook pawn. Rook f1, and after black wins the bishop pawn, after which the king pawn, or the rook pawn falls. Back to the game. White played bishop b takes a4 c4 check King D2. Rook takes A4. Rook B1. Rook A1. Rook F1. Excuse me, that was Rook F2 to F1. Not the other Rook. Rook takes b1, rook takes b1, rook a2, rook on the 7th, the magic winning move. King d1, b4, k4, 
king d2, king d6, king d1, king c5, b3. This lets black win in a beautiful style. The alternative, king d2, leads to this neat finish. Rook takes b2, rook takes b2, c3 check, king c1, c takes b2 check, king takes b2, king c4, king c1, d3, c takes d3 check, King takes d3, f4, otherwise king to e3 wins at once, e takes f4, e5, f4, and black wins. Back to the game. White had played b3. Capablanca played c3. Rook c1. d3. c takes d3. Two other moves allow amusing pawn forks. For example, rook b1, d takes c2 check, and king e1. Winning the rook. White played. C takes g3 in the game. Capablanca played rook h2. Rook c2. Any other move by king or rook loses the rook instantly. Rook h1 check. King e2. King d4. White is in Zugzwing. Any move by king or rook loses the rook. White resigns. A picturesque conclusion by a great artist.